Of Welcome to episode number eight of our Locking Fundamental series. And today we'll be talking about, or we'll be drilling the school bot. In case you didn't know, I'm Seach, I teach, and I make dance tutorial videos. If my videos are helpful and you would like to support the channel, just send me a million dollars. Or click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Ooh, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for instant notification when I post. Now my tutorials are dance along videos, which means you can practice along with me while you watch. Each video has multiple drills, and each drill is about a minute. It's not too long, but enough to build muscle control and strengthen your rhythm. My challenge to you is to try to keep up with me throughout the entire drills. Now if you can't do it at first, Try again tomorrow because this takes time and patience. Now for my explanations and the tips on each drill, make sure to watch the video all the way through towards the end of the video so you don't miss out on the specific technique that I have so that you can avoid some of the common pitfalls or mistakes. All right, now if you're ready, put your dancing shoes on. I'll see you in the drill. Enjoy, have fun, and don't forget to make it funky. just on the bottom half, all right? So make sure you got the leg work down, and then we're gonna add the arms and upstairs. So right now, focus down here. Key though is, we have to stay low when we need to stay low, and I'll tell you what, what we need to do. So first step, okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm leaning to my right, which means my left heel, it's like, it's like a heel tap, okay? I'm tapping, the heel touches the ground. I don't put flat footed. If you do, that's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker for me right now. But what I like to do is get you guys to do a habit of heel tap. Seven, eight, one, and two. Notice on the end, or notice on the one. I'm not standing here like this. You see what I'm saying? I'm not standing tall and just doing this. I'm bending my knees, okay, right when I go in one, Boom, I'm down. Also notice the body, okay, from right here. If you're able to draw a straight line, I'm kind of leaning the opposite way. There should be a diagonal angle. And watch my body, I'm not just going like this, there's like a, a turn as well. So my right shoulder is like a pull back. One, right here. Seven, eight, one, and two. Opposite, right? So right on two, my, my right heel tap, left heel pulls, or left shoulder pulls back. All at the same time, look. I'm at this level. Look at my eyes, look at my head, I'm here. So I'm not going like this. I'm gonna go one and two and. It's not going up and down. It'll go down later. Right now it's 50 dozen. Seven, eight, one and two and three. This is when I come up, okay? I got three and four. So notice the body. So it's not three and four like this. It's three and four. So just this alone takes a lot of concentration, all right? That's why we need to do it without the arms. There's, a, there's body movement, okay? Your body does, does one of these, it stays low, and then those boom, boom, three and four, and your legs are marching on the three and four. So let's review that real quick. Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four. We repeat that, all right? Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, four. Again, make sure your body kind of has a little pullback so that it has some rotation along the spine, all right? So a little bit faster. So the first two-way count, obviously it's half time. 
second two eight count, it's tempo. So let's try tempo with me. Seven, eight, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. All right? For those of you, if you're if you're practicing this, this with me for a while, you want to add a little bit more. There is that neck movement when we go back. All right. So if you notice, if I just go like this, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight, versus with the head, one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. So that's just a little bit extra that I want to put on. And if you're able to do that, go ahead and do that because the more movement that you add into it makes it just more funky. Okay? So drill that a few more times. Do it until you don't have to think about it. Obviously, do it with the drill. Okay? The drill is close to a minute. We go half time and we go tempo. We go half time and tempo. And obviously, as you're listening to me right now, if you're able to practice along, with the side videos, so you just get more training in there, make sure your muscle memory get that built in, and you're ready, then go to the next drill, because that's when we're gonna get the farm. All right. Mm. Again, this is the left arm, seven, eight, and one, and two, three, that's the twirl right there, three, and four, okay? So I know separating, it's a lot easier to focus on what each arm is doing. Now the hard part is putting it together. It's actually not that hard, but let's do it together anyways. Seven, eight, and when I come together on the end, this is where it's important, and, because remember, my arm is coming up, and one. So it kind of meets here. One of the things that you gotta be careful is not to punch yourself with your arms, all right? So what I do is the one, the arm that's pointing out, it goes on the outside. Because if I go on the inside, I'm gonna catch myself, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go and one right here, and two, cross my arm. In this scenario, it really doesn't matter which arm is the front, which arm is the back, okay? 
so it doesn't matter, choose one. So now, what I'm doing is I have the right arm in the front, okay? So seven, eight, and one, and two. When I go across on the two, okay, arms across, my palm is facing me or facing away. It doesn't really matter, okay? It doesn't matter what the angle of this is, just as long as I cross my arm. Then from here, I'm bringing it to and three, and four. That's our twirl again, all right? So let's put it together. Seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four. And then we just repeat, okay? So we have and five, and six, and seven, and eight. So one more time, I'm gonna do an entire eight count just with the arms. And also I'm gonna add the lead, okay? Seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Six and seven and eight. Okay, so that's the arm. Drill just the arms if you feel like it's not perfect. Get it until you drill it. You're obviously going to get your arms going to get a little bit uh, tired just from doing this, you know, for the whole minute. And obviously, more than a minute if you continue to, to, to practice. Okay. Again, if this is this is your second or third time watching the video, or more than that. Continue, because you probably heard me say this before, but obviously you want to pay attention because not, you don't catch everything the first time, right? Practice along with the videos on the side, get the drill, get the training in, get the drill in, and then feel comfortable. I'll see you in drill number three. That's what we incorporate with the up and the bottom, and we call that the scoop out. The idea of this video is the fundamental. We 
want to get started. Once you get started, you're going to advance. For some of you guys who are more advanced, I welcome you. But you got to start somewhere. Learn one way, and then you start learning differently. And then you can start creating your own, put your own flavor into it. Okay? What I highly uh, recommend is start doing the opposite way. Learn how to go the opposite way. Okay? So then you are more complete and dexterous. All right, guys. Hope you guys have fun, learn lots, and keep drilling with this. All right. For now, you know a lot of people are just staying home, not doing much. This is a great way to exercise, keep your body moving, having fun with the music. Do it along with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, John.